In my presentation, I'm going to be talking about Bacon's Castle. It's a large high style Jacobean brick house built in 1665 near the James River. Brick houses were quite popular mid to late 17th century. So popular that culturally, even poor people were able to live in brick houses instead of the common wood houses built during earlier centuries. Brick became popular over wood for its warmth, resilience, and ability to keep out moisture. This was especially important for houses such as Bacon's Castle, which was built near Virginia's coast. It appears the patterns of these bricks are a mixture of common bonds and running bonds and run as high as four stories. To reach heights like these, masons had to have lashed scaffolding together, much like you see in the picture. With the, with the required skill and eventually required firing factories, bricklaying and brick making most definitely helped the economy and quality of life during the 17th and 18th centuries. Today, almost 400 years later, brick has made a swift comeback. I guess I should say brick veneers have become more popular, especially on gas and electrical fireplace faces. Our population has greatly increased over these centuries and cheaper material has become more readily available. The use of these veneers, wood frames, and concrete board have made structures susceptible to seismic events much safer than a wall previously reinforced with only brick and mortar. But unfortunately, on the other hand, the demand for budget and deadlines have diminished the population of skilled brick masons. Scissorless, cherry pickers, and easier installed scaffolding have made plastering the brick veneers to frame concrete board much quicker and safer, and also has met buyers' need of both price, time, and love.